Hi. <laughs> We're about to get really intrusive. For you, my liege, your wrap of the day. Ooh! Whoa! Oh, whoa! The flavors are melting on my tongue. Oh my god, we could so do like a just eating food in the car. <laughs> You get a little tray table and just muck bang the shit out oh, of it. To get paid to eat in the car is a fucking dream. Oh my god. <laughs> Deeper. Oh, it's a seagull. Look at this fucking bastard. Hello, Hi, hello, hello. How are you? We just had a McDonald's. You've all met Matthew before, haven't you? It's the Tuesday night, we got McDonald's, we're sat in Dun Elm car park and we're about to get really intrusive. It's a car game and it's like a reflective car game. It says, inside, we're all the same. You start with level one, perception, and then you basically ask each other shit on the cards and it gets like really intrusive and then there's level two and then there's level three. We thought this would be fun, we wanted to do it for ages. I'm nervous. We've been friends for like nearly 10 years. So I, I think we're quite good to do this together. Mm. What subject do you think I thrived in at school and did I fail any? We didn't know each other at school. No, but we met at college. No, I think you thrived in photography. Oh my god, thank you. You failed English, because I failed English with you. <laughs> um, no, I got B in English. Brilliant. I failed photography. <laughs> oh, I know you so well. Maybe we are students. <gasps> Great chat. <laughs> Do you think I intimidate others? Why or why not? <laughs> yeah. You're six foot seven. You're kind of a bitch, but not to me. I think you're six foot six. I think you're smart, you've got your shit together and you're gorgeous, like. But I don't think that person me. <laughs> but if I did, I, I if I thought that, you would intimidate me. <laughs> what fast food restaurant do you think I'm most likely to drive through and what's my order? McDonald's, medium Big Mac meal. <laughs> my plan. That's the one. <laughs> McPlant meal. Apple pie, chocolate pie, mince pie if it's Christmas. And medium Diet Coke or a Coke Zero, depending on the hour. <laughs> Some little cheesy mozzarella bites. That's basically all we do, is get Every a drive through. <laughs> okay, fine. It's, okay. Think of your favourite childhood TV show of all time. On the count of three, say it out loud, both players. Okay, one, one two, two, three, three. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> you said this. H2O. Just H add water. Oh my god. Yeah. Then I got embarrassed. Love mermaids. We got the wild card. We've got to draw a portrait of each other to the best for our ability one minute in the exchange. <laughs> hey Siri, set timer. For how long? One minute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Got 18 seconds. It's <laughs> awful. I... Level two. Um, whenever the vibe takes us. What was your first impression of me? Oh my god, okay. I remember you walking in to whatever class we had. I, I couldn't decide if I fancied you or not. I was like, I thought maybe you were... But like... Not me. <laughs> but I knew you were popular because <laughs> you like had some, some friends at college already. Um, do you want to go on to level two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me with it. Oh, what's the last thing you lied to your mother about? How much my clothes cost that I keep ordering to her house. Mood. I got this on Vinted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love Comes it. Comes in a huge matches fashion box. Oh my god, not the <laughs> Netta Porter box. It was PR. It was PR. Oh my god, I've already done that. It's none of her business. What's been your happiest memory this past year? Um, or, or... what year are we in? August. When do I remember? <laughs> what year are we in? August. Probably <laughs> <laughs> being in Mexico. Mm, Mexico. Mexico for my birthday. Um, being on the beach. Santa Barbara. <laughs> Santa Barbara. 
um that's like it really just like the whole the whole thing the whole the whole beach experience Spirals. yeah um yeah being on the beach at like night that was really nice the moon me and my girl the moon it's the full moon in aquarius right? it is the sturgeon moon <laughs> they said level two connection what's the most pain you've ever been in that wasn't physical Hey. Pain. Pain. Like, like Beyonce resentment pain. Turmoil. Shakespearean levels of turmoil. Either when my friend died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing, I'm just laughing. <laughs> or when the guy I was seeing left me for my ex-boyfriend. I remember that. Double homicide. It would have been if I'd seen them. <laughs> I actually did see them the day after at Bright and Pride. But they both have receding hairlines. Can I put that in the Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much of this we can put on the internet. What's the most unexplainable thing that's ever happened to you? <gasps> oh my god, my life is full of unexplainable things. That's really hard because, like, everything has an explanation. Everything is connected. It's so hard to talk about anything without talking about everything because everything is connected. I have the most, okay, I have a really unexplainable thing only because I don't think you can have a memory this early on in your life, but I thought it was a dream. It's not like unexplainable. I just think it's a funny coincidence. My dad literally explained it to me. I have a really vivid memory in which I was a baby, like a baby, like not walking, sitting up. I'm on a beach. I can see the sea, there's like a couple of crabs around and I'm sitting under a palm tree and that's it, that's like all I can remember. I can see my parents, yeah, yeah, island gal. Dad was telling me about how they'd put me on a beach, um, like back home, they'd like left me under this tree and dad heard like this thud noise. There was coconuts falling out of trees like everywhere and they like ran and snatched me up because obviously I was just like, I still had a little soft spot on the back of my head that would have killed me. I always think that's like really weird because I grew up my whole life thinking it was a dream. But it was memory, but how can you remember stuff when you're a baby that's more? Just finger me. Have you changed your mind about anything recently? I mean, yeah, I change my mind every day, but I'd never come up with a conclusion. Oh, you just like, I don't want to do that. I just keep going with ideas, but none of them ever come to fruition. I change my mind every five minutes. I don't remember what I'm changing it from. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just a hypocrite through and through. No, I think you're... No, I'm um, extremely hypocritical. Yeah, but like, I think changing your mind is open to alternatives. Yeah, or am I just trying to people please and agree with people? But I don't always agree with people. They really said connection. Yeah, I don't like that question. What are you more afraid of, failure or success? <gasps> and why? Oh my god! Uh, failure. Failure. Why? Um, why? Because I don't like failing. Yeah, I think I'm more scared of failure. But like, what is failure? Because I feel like I don't set myself up for failure. I, get up again. <laughs> no. I don't really like believe in like. Sounds like it's so wanky to be like. I don't really believe in failure. But like, also. I think that's a great. It's a growth mindset. It's a hustle, girl boss. <laughs> a CEO. I'm more scared of failure. And like, I don't mean like failure. Like. I'm not like buying a house by like this age. I mean like person like what I set myself to oh, do, yeah. like personal failure. Yeah, no, that scares me. Like you know that horrible saying that's like if you if you don't try, like like it's better to fail than to not have tried. Like I get that, it's but also it's better to have loved and lost than never have loved. Exactly, at all. bestie. But it's not as black and white for me as being like okay, so I failed something or I've succeeded in something. Like if I do something it doesn't work out, I don't really view that as like a failure. Yeah, because you tried anyway. And yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you learn from it. Oh, this is a good one. Has a stranger ever changed your life? No. Oh. I've changed a stranger's life. I met this woman in a hotel in Portugal and we had a car and she was from Ireland and she was there just visiting. She was out on like the little shed balcony bit having a cigarette and then we started smoking together, chatting. And then we went out one night and like we just adopted her. She was just solo travelling. So we just like, drove oh, her around in our car. That's why I love travelling. It's yeah. cute like she that. Just, she just finished filming like a Netflix thing. Um, anyway, and then we went out and she was telling me about how all those boyfriends and ex-boys and boys that she slept with and how she literally hates them all and I was like, you're a lesbian. I uh, literally just looked her in the eye and said, it's because you're a lesbian. And she was a lesbian, she's been a lesbian ever since then. She went to her first Island Pride. Oh. She actually messaged me saying, oh. ever since she said that, I've realised, yeah, I am gay.
You're welcome. So in, in Ireland, she might be pulling this card and answering that about you. Yes. That's cute as fuck. Let's get down to business. When you're asked, how are you? How often do you answer truthfully? Oh my God, like never. Of course, bitch, never. Never, because no one wants to hear that. Okay, there's, there's levels to it. While you're talking, I'm gonna find a, I have a meme saved in the camera roll for this. Ready to pop. It's it's relevant. Fire away. At work, <laughs> and I I work in like a pretty um like transparent workplace. People are like, how are you doing? I'm like, yeah, yeah, fine, good, thank you, tired. I'm getting better at being like, you know, I'm feeling low energy today. I'm feeling sluggish, or I'm feeling oh, I'm just feeling a bit like meh. But the only reason I don't say it is because sometimes I'm very private. Sometimes if I'm like I'm really not feeling well, I'll say, you know, what, I'm not feeling my best today. I don't mm. want to divulge when someone's like, why? I just want it to be like, okay, you're not feeling your best today, cool. But also I really acknowledge that it's kind of perceived as rude to be like, why? I don't want to talk about it. This is exactly how I feel about it. You're so valid, but it's a bit like DM me, hun. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But maybe maybe that's just the whole thing that's got to change, right? And do you know what? I don't even really necessarily view it as lying. I kind of just see it as like withholding the truth. <laughs> That's, that's fucking lying, isn't it? I feel so bad whenever my friends check up on me like, baby, I'm not good, but don't you worry about that. Exactly. No, I'm not. Yeah, I lie. I'm, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> and you've always said that. And I've always said that. <laughs> that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Do you think the image you have of yourself matches the image people see you as? No. No, 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 what, what is the image of you like versus what you think people think of you? I try not to look at myself too much because otherwise I, I go insane. I think, well, like people always comment like, oh, you should be a model. Like someone commenting, you look like Bella Hadid. You do look like Bella Hadid. And that's so kind of you. But then I look in the mirror, I'm like, nah, they're lying. They're lying. They're doing it for attention. Yeah, I have uh, really low self-esteem. Okay, so like, what do you think, like physically aside, like what do you think about like who you are as a person? Again, low self-esteem. I tell myself I'm really horrible and like mean and no one wants to be my friend. Mm. Actually grow up. No, I'd love to. You're great. I'd love to. Oh my God. But like, every time I leave, you know, I like text my friends. I'm so nice hanging out with you. Oh my God, stop. I do that all the time. It's like, it's like the urge to like text my friends and tell them how much I love them when yeah, I leave them. Because I'm but do you know what you should do? You should just do it. It's so nice. Yeah, I do it all the time. Like I'll leave this and think that like I've forced you at gunpoint to drive to McDonald's because I don't have a car and like sit in the car with me and that you've just been like suffering and I've made you play this like stupid little silly card game and film it and I'm gonna edit and put on my YouTube and then I'll be editing it and be like, he's actually doesn't wanna be here. He's like fucking off to France to get away from me. He's sick of driving me around. <laughs> no, and I'll think, oh, I was really bad in Charles content video thing. In the YouTube? On the, I was really bad at doing good for the YouTube. Just, I need more therapy. Don't we all? Luckily putting yourself on the internet and getting external validation. It's basically therapy. Slightly fills that gap. We're just going to get another drink from McDonald's. Mm, drink tequila, like orange juice. Did you do a stinky? <laughs> stormy. Poop, poop, stormy. You look just like mommy, baby. Hi Rose, what can I get for you? Can I just get two large Coke Zeros, please? Obviously, the barber's fit. The guy doing my hair, fit. Everyone else who works there, fit. I don't know, what do you do with TikTok me flying my hair? This <laughs> is so embarrassing. This has been fun. <sighs> Thanks so much for having one. me. Bye bye. Nice to meet you all.